Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Katrina Lisi, and I am the Fair Director here at Georgia College and Director of the Science Education Center. It is my honor to welcome you to our virtual award ceremony for the 44th Annual Regional Science and Engineering Fair. Even though this year was a little different, we still had a blast and we want to use this opportunity to share our results with you and just congratulate all of you for making science a priority through this very challenging year. So kudos to all the teachers and parents and students that had such a good time exploring science and presenting to all of our professional judges. We are excited to bring to you all of the award winners and in our mind, everyone's a winner. So we have a great show in store for you. We hope you enjoy it. Good afternoon. It is so exciting to see so many young people pursuing science. We welcome you virtually to our campus and we're very proud of you. My name is Costa Spiro and I'm the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at Georgia College, which is the home of the Georgia College Science Education Center. I would like to take a moment to thank and celebrate all the efforts and contributions you have given to organizing the 44th Annual Regional Science and Engineering Fair. As the state's designated public liberal arts institution of higher education, Georgia College is committed to science. We're currently completing an, on our campus the construction of a state-of-the-art integrated science complex to provide students and faculty members the resources they need to excel in science, technology, and research. Maybe one day some of you will join us here at Georgia College to continue your scientific pursuits. I would like to thank Dr. Katrina Lisi, Director of the Georgia College Science Education Center, for her leadership and for her dedicated service to the university and to the Georgia College Science Education Center. To all the participants, judges, teachers, Georgia College STEM majors, and all of you working behind the scenes to make such an incredible event happen, Thank you and congratulations. At this time, we're gonna give a school shout out. Here we have listed all of the schools that participated in this year's Regional Science and Engineering Fair. Academy of Classical Education, Brentwood School, Cirrus Academy Charter School, Dublin High School, Georgia College Early College, Howard High School and Howard Middle School, Irish Gifted Academy, Jasper County High School and Jasper County Middle School, Miller Fine Arts Magnet Middle School, Oak Hill Middle School, Piedmont Academy, Soar Academy Personalized Learning Center, and last but certainly not least, Wilkinson County High School. Now we will begin the recognition of our third, second, and first place category honors. A panel of three to five professional judges evaluated each project. The judges ranked first, second, and third place from their group of projects. All projects were judged with others from the same category and with similar fields of study. Let's get things started with our third place honors presented by Chloe Patterson. Third place honors for middle school listed alphabetically are Addison Welch and Bailey Barron, Alana Taylor, Annabelle Bonner, Carson Clark, Patrick Cody, and Clayton McCray, Christina Yasa Rios and Jordan Swanger, Danny Ware, Fabian Moore, Carson Coley, Michaela Paul, Malia Coley, Mayana Wells, Roswell Goldsby, Andrew Harris, and William Morgan and Zion Blake, Andrew Smith, and Julio Sanchez. Congratulations to all the middle school award recipients. Moving on to our third place honors for high school, we have Alan Torres and Dalton Rainey, Alexandria Davis and Janae Smith, Ardarius Benton and Shamarion Green, Carlos Lugo Ramirez and Eli Hopkins, as well as Gabriel Garibay, Cortland Gowen, Kelsey Cheek, and Haley Tripp, Emily Cole and Charlie Dodson, Jamisha Hawkins, as well as Marcellus Jefferson, Tristan Blattenberg, 
Reagan Mask and Cameron Toll, Spencer Hamblin, Michael Mitchell, and Joshua Manning, and lastly, Tevin Digby, Darquan Norwood, and Graham Williams. Please help me in congratulating all third place award recipients. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you, Chloe, and congratulations to all of our third place honor recipients. Next up, we have our second place award recipients, read by Dr. Laura Whitlock. Second place honors for middle school are Addison Upton, Amiria Thomas, Shelby Ann Thrasher, and Megan Haywood, Charles Harbin, and Grady Jordan, Sierra Peters, and Rena Tegler, Gracie Arnold, Destiny Pete, and Rachel Carnes. Mariah Hitchcock, Riley Clark, Ryan Rogers, Sarah Anderson and Kendall Chapman, Scott Swan, Selena Harvey, Lila Melton and Abigail Garland, Wyatt Boutel and Cordy Francis. Second place honors for high school are Allison Arnett, Caressia Smith, Bethany Strength, and Carly Whitmire, Connor Kesey, and Brooke Starnes, Isabella Stiegel, Kate Miller, and Jeffrey Miller, Jake Matthews, and Misael Ortiz, Josephine Beasley, and Madison Hardman, Kelsey Key, Austin Allen, and Timber Edge, Keyshawn Patel, Lizette Arismendi, Macy Dudley, Madeline Rayner, Takaya Thompson, and Laurel Irwin, Tanavi Patel, Thane Fowler, and Austin Bennett, William Garvin, Isaac Hyland, and Jacob Mathis. Thank you, Dr. Whitlock. Next up, we have our first place award recipients. The names of each award winner is going to be read by Dr. Peter Rosado. Hey, everybody. My name is Dr. Peter Rosado, and it is my honor to present um, the awards for first place honors for middle school and high school. The first place honors for middle school listed alphabetically are Allison Farmer, Anne Kroom, Ayesha Patel, Destiny Curry, Emma Tillery, Jonas Allen and Morgan Davis, Ligia Perkins, Zachary Garvin, Garen Banks, London Rogers, Oliver Jennings, Rebecca Hutto, Ryan Pittman, and Christian Roundtree. Congratulations to the Middle School Award recipients. Moving on to our first place honors for high school. We have Aman Borisha Massand, Brianna Dalton, Lindsay Thomas, and Brooklyn Dalton. Brooklyn Culver, Sanae Mitchell, Amaya Rozier, Carly Hall, Farah Owensby, Danica Villogman, and Josefa Chama. Gavin Jacobs, Janet Arvisu Garcia, Julius Smith and Karen Lara, Keridan Benton and Michael Anthony and Danielle Ramirez, Laura Towner, Megan Stanley, Tavita Contrell, Tiffany McLean. Now let's give a round of applause to all categories of war recipients. Congratulations. Now I have a question for you. How much fun do you like to have with science? Well, as a chemist, we like to blow things up. That was awesome.
at this time, we are excited to begin the recognition of our special award recipients. I'm going to kick things off reading the names of our Broadcom Masters recipients. Broadcom Masters stands for Math, Applied Science, Technology, and Engineering for Rising Stars. These awards are given to the top 10% of our middle school projects. This year's recipients are Allison Farmer, Ann Kroon, Aisha Patel, Destiny Curry, Emma Tillery, Jonas Allen and Morgan Davis, Leah Perkins, Zachary Garvin, Garen Banks, London Rogers, Oliver Jennings, Rebecca Hutto, Ryan Pittman, and Christian Roundtree. Congratulations to all of our Broadcom Master recipients. Hello, I'm Dr. John Trombley, and I have the privilege of announcing the next three awards. First up, the American Meteorological Society Award. This award recognizes creative scientific endeavors in the areas of atmospheric and related sciences for a high school project. This year's award goes to Tabitha Cantrell for their project Sunny Side Up. Next, the American Psychological Association Award uh, is an award that recognizes outstanding research in psychological sciences under the category of behavioral and social sciences. This year's recipient is London Rogers for their project, Does Weather Affect Our Mood Due to Age? The next award is from the Society for In Vitro Biology. The Society provides one award per regional ISAF-affiliated competition. It is intended that this recognition be awarded to the most outstanding 11th grade project exhibited in the areas of plant and animal in vitro biology. This year's recipients are Kelsey Kay, Austin Allen, and Timber Edge for their project, The Effect of pH on Lutetia stivia verilongfolia. The other special awards are going to be read by Dr. Wasala Medawala and Dr. Tara Nuar. Our next award is the Lemelson Early Inventor Prize. The Lemelson Early Inventor Prize is $100 and is awarded to the most outstanding middle school inventor. And the prize goes to Ryan Rogers for the Bullets Judgment. Congratulations, Ryan. Our next award is the Mu Alpha Theta. This is a National High School Mathematics Honor Society. It is awarded to the most outstanding high school project that demonstrates the most challenging, original, thorough, and creative investigation of a problem involving mathematics. And the award goes to Kishan Patel for his project on the impact of simple math has on energy bills in the 21st century homes. Congratulations, Kishan. The NASA Earth System Science Award recognizes the most outstanding projects studying Earth in an effort to improve lives and safeguard our future. We have two winners, Moriah Hitchcock for the project on how to prevent erosion and Destiny Curry on her project on how does water pollution affect our environment. Congratulations to both of you. Next special category award is Office of Naval Research Award, which is committed to supporting STEM initiatives and programs for our nation's young students. The high school award goes to Janet Arvizu Garcia and Gavin Jacobs. Middle school award goes to London Rogers and Rebecca Hutu. The next award, U.S. Metric Association SI Award, which is given to an outstanding project that correctly use SI units in their data analysis, goes to Emma Tellery for the project Bubbles Everywhere. Next award, USA Stockholm Junior Water Prize, is given to top high school water science project, and uh, for this year, it goes to William Garvin, Isaac Highland and Jacob Methins for their project, Water Filtration. Next award, USAID Science Champion Award. This award is given to the project that made an effort to improve the lives of people around the world, especially those in low and middle income countries by 
focusing on agriculture and food security. And this award goes to Julius Smith and Karen Lara for their project egg production based on food type. Next, Yale Science and Engineering Association Award. This award is to recognize the most outstanding 11th grader project focusing on engineering and mathematics. And the award goes to Kishan Patel. Congratulations to all recipients of special awards. At this time, we're gonna begin our grand prize award finale. These are our top projects. We're gonna start with our state award invitations. This year, we were awarded 32 allotments to send our top high school and middle school projects to compete at the Georgia Science and Engineering Fair. The competition will be held virtually and I am proud to show you the names of our top 32 projects. This includes all of our first place recipients and a few of our second place honor recipients. So please look at the list and see if you can find your name. If you are unable to accept the invitation and compete at the state competition, please notify us immediately so that we can move down the list and select other projects to represent our regional competition. Congratulations to all of our Georgia Science and Engineering Fair Award recipients. Next up, we have our best of class for middle school. These were the top projects for the grade level. Our sixth grade best of class recipient came from Howard Middle School, London Rogers. Our seventh grade best of class is from Miller Fine Arts Magnet School. Oliver Jennings. And our eighth grade best of class comes to us from Irish Gifted Academy, Allison Farmer. Congratulations to all of our middle school best of class recipients. Now moving on to the high school best of class. For ninth grade, we have Tiffany McLean from Jasper County High School. Our 10th grade best of class recipient is Laura Towner from Georgia College Early College. 11th grade best of class comes to us from Howard High School, Tabitha Cantrell. And for 12th grade best of class, we actually had a tie. Janet Garcia from Wilkinson County High School and Gavin Jacobs from Jasper County High School. Congratulations to all of our high school best of class recipients. Now, as we move on to our best of show, this is the project that scored the highest out of all middle school projects. London Rogers from Howard Middle School. Congratulations, London. Our best of show high school which is also our ICEF finalist, is a tie. The professional judges could not break the tie, and so we are going to send both projects to represent our regional competition at the International Science and Engineering Fair. And without further ado, the best of show for high school and our ICEF finalist, Laura Towner from Georgia College Early College, and Tiffany McLean from Jasper County High School. Congratulations. And congratulations to all of our award recipients. I am so proud of each and every one of you. And you give me hope thinking about the science you were able to accomplish 
during a global pandemic. And I also want to give a special shout out to all of the teachers and parents that supported you. So please thank them for me.
that wraps up our virtual award ceremony for today. Thank you for joining us and all of our certificates and award ribbons and prizes are going to be mailed to each school. So we will send an email to the teacher whenever the shipment leaves us so that you can be on the lookout for it. We hope you have a wonderful day and hopefully we'll get to see you again soon.